as a new agent, what do you do? You need to be the market expert. There's a lot of off-market properties. You need to be in networking groups, talking to people, talking to agents, knowing what the market is doing in your area. There are many things that you can do as agents that make you feel that you are busy and therefore justify the fact that you're not doing as much business as you wish you were doing. You need to track your activity and track your money. We're really our own businesses no matter who you work for. So I think the key is to somehow keep yourself accountable. It's important that you write it down. If you do not write it down, it does not exist. It's a privilege. I mean, think about what we do. We help people make their largest purchases or their largest sale. That is enormous to them. It's up there with getting married and having children. It's a privilege. It all depends on where you're going with your business. If you're starting out and you're making it a career, you need to front load your business with advertising, sometimes acquisition advertising, working leases, but grow the business, have a book of business, peel off some of these expensive things. And the middle road is you do still need to uphold your brand. I spend a third of my income on advertising. And when I first started, I didn't have a book of business and I didn't go to my sphere. I just went to advertising, then gained the credibility to go to my sphere after that. I do receive a lot of phone calls from friends that have seen me in digs. I just sent out my first publication. I've got a great response from that as well. One of the things that I had to do when I started was to get out of my own way. I know what my strengths are. It is really important to align yourself with people that have skill sets that are different than yours because you can get so much more done. Discipline and hone your skills by repetition. I do open houses every weekend and I'm better today than I was five or ten years ago. I think that farming is, is a long-term benefit. It's like an annuity. I think the technology has made the consumer a lot more informed, and that's a good thing. But they do realize once they get started and start looking out there that they can't do it on their own. Time after time, they do surveys. Now, people like to look online, but when they go to buy a house, which is their largest single investment, they want to go and use a realtor. And I do want to caution agents against relying on technology too much. Technology is great, but it's a tool to serve you. It's not going to do your job for you. It's not going to get you all your leads and your listings. That's something that you're going to do by developing relationships with clients and just getting out there and meeting people.